Morning didn't end the nightmare, but it brought the children, picking through the debris of the dead. The burnt remains of shelters mark the place where Israel says a top Hamas commander was hiding among thousands of displaced families fleeing the fighting in Rafa to the south. We were preparing our children's beds for the night and we heard a very loud noise and fire erupted all around us. All the children started screaming, the shelter was shaking and our room was full of shrapnel. The airstrike hit an area seen as outside Israel's current military assault. Israel says it used precise munitions, intelligence and aerial surveillance to reduce the risk to civilians. But that the strike ignited fires across the camp. Local reports suggest there was a fueling station nearby. Gaza's Hamas-run government says dozens were killed and injured, many of them children. Hospitals starved of supplies, now flooded with patients, the barely alive, the emotionally dead. Israel's army says it's launched an investigation. Last night, the IDF targeted two Hamas commanders in Rafah, whose hands were drenched in Israeli blood. Civilian casualties are desperately sad, but this is the war Hamas wanted and started. Yesterday, Hamas rockets were fired from Rafah towards Tel Aviv and surrounding Israeli towns. All those heading for urban areas were intercepted. Gaza's civilians can't rely on their government's defenses. A family car, today, a makeshift hearse for his only sister. Where Israel and Hamas talk of victory, families count their losses. Until all that's left are the people. And then even they are gone.